Today we're going to cover a combination of keyboard shortcuts that lets you complete Excel sum ifs quickly and efficiently without using your mouse. So I'm going to give a quick overview of the formula and then jump into quick, two quick um, examples using those keyboard shortcuts. So we're going to be using data from the coffee wholesale business. And as you can see here, there's multiple rows with multiple product names and product categories. And it's very hard to make sense of this data just by looking at it. And so Excel SumIfs lets you sum your numerical data based on a set of criteria that you specify within the formula. And that's going to help you take your data and turn it into actionable insights that you can use to make decisions on your business. So to jump into the formula, we're going to type equal sign, sum, and Excel is going to populate a list of formulas that it thinks you want to use. I arrow key down and then press the tab key to auto-complete the one that I want to do, in this case, sum ifs. So all we're going to do is specify the sum range and then multiple criteria by which we want to sum that range. So our sum range is the sales amount. I arrow key over to sales amount and I press control space bar to quickly highlight the entire column. And then the F4 key locks that in place when you drag that formula around. Next, what's the first range of criteria by which we want to sum sales amount? So I'm going to arrow key over to the product category column. And again, control space bar is going to highlight that entire column. Next, what accessor or what product category should we sum sales amount when, when we see it? That's criteria one. So I'm going to arrow key over to criteria one and specify that. And if you've learned anything yet, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube video, my new YouTube channel, so you can stay up to date on all of my Excel videos. So we've got our first um, set of criteria, which is some sales amount based on product category. And we're going to do that again with our second criteria. So comma, criteria range two is going to be month year. So arrow key over and control space bar is going to highlight that entire column. And then comma, and then specify which month year should we be summing sales amount and arrow key over to November, close parentheses and press enter. So Excel quickly, Excel summits quickly sums um, all of the sales made in November 20, 20, uh, 2020 for the accessories product category. And let's run through another quick example. Um, so again, equal sign sum ifs, tab key. So we're in this case, uh, the sum range is still going to be the sale amount. Um, criteria range one is going to be the customer. Again, control space bars highlighting the entire column. Criteria one is this customer. And then criteria range two is going to be product name. So arrow key over, control space bar. Um, and, but in this case, I want to exclude the all products. Um, I want to exclude the espresso machine. So I want to sum all of the sales amounts for products that aren't the espresso machine. And to use that, I just use these two um, equal sign or greater than or le and less than signs to say exclude. And then I arrow key over to espresso machine. And that has to be in quotation marks for, for this to work. And then close parentheses and enter. And so that's going to sum all of the sale amounts for product for customer number 375, excluding espresso machine. And if you want to follow along and you want a copy of this exact spreadsheet that you can use to follow along with this video, click on the link in the description to howtoanalyst.com for an exact copy of the file. And thanks so much for tuning in.